What's up everybody? It's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and today we are back in the closet at the Old Bird Farmhouse. Gonna try to clean this thing out the rest of the way. It's already very late in the day so I'm running on super limited time but I want to do the best that we can with scrubbing it down and turning it into the Old Bird Farm Candle Company storeroom here. Sorry about the way that the light on the screen kind of flickers there for a minute. It's that, it's that specific light there. I don't know why it does it. Anyway, um, so let's look in here. There were a couple other things that I didn't get to show you yesterday that I wanted to. This was just something that I wanted to go through. And doesn't look like there's much of anything there, to be honest with you. So we'll set it to the side, the keep inside. But there was also this. It's a manual for total municipal development and I said well dang this probably needs to be donated to the city of Waverly Hall and you know what the funny thing is look at we got to pull this out and look at it hold on I have no idea what this is or why it's in the farmhouse first of all gonna move this over without knocking any of the bottles down um, this is a Three Musketeers package from Best Before November 82. Now is that, I guess that's November 1982. That's what a uh, Three Musketeer bar looked like. So there you go. Anyway, I was going to joke and say that this was, uh, I was going to donate to this to the city of Waverly Hall so they could, you know, figure out how to do stuff. But this actually used to be property of the city of Waverly Hall so this is actually kind of fascinating it is it literally looks like a uh, a planning guide to how to run a city so when I start the um, when I start the old bird farm city here I got the guide on how to do it isn't that interesting huh I have no idea why this would be in the farmhouse, but maybe maybe that's why, you know, Waverly Hall is the way it is sometimes, because they lost this book and forgot how to do stuff. That's an interesting little find here. Anyway, back to the closet. There's our, so this is a shoehorn. It's been identified as such online. Um, so I've got some cleaners. I haven't looked at this top shelf. I don't know if anything is up there or not. I have to get a little step stool to get up there. But I've got some cleaners, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get like this shelf cleaned off. I've got a vacuum here. So let's try to get that knocked out real quick. Like So first official use of the Old Bird Farm Closet. Got my air conditioner stuck in here. We barely used it, and it's already too cold for this air conditioner here in Georgia now. So I've got my little plethora of, plethora? Plethora of cleaners here. Um, these were left by Lindsay when she had come over and volunteered some time to clean the Old Bird farmhouse. Um, so I got a bunch of different cleaners here um, that we're going to try to let's try to knock out at least a couple of these shelves so I can go ahead and start putting them to use. We'll uh, we'll start up here. We'll start at the top, and work our way down. Okay, so that is one level clean. Let me move over a little bit so maybe you guys will be able to see a difference here. And this level is kind of kind of white and clean now. It's shadowy, so you can't really see it. It's interesting the kind of pink color that's in the wall back there. If you can kind of look close and see that. But then also I cleaned here. You can see the real difference right there between these two sections of door frame or one is still dirt and grime actually even though this is shadowed you would probably be able to tell the difference between that one and that one so yeah my little storage space inside the old bird farm is it's coming right along um again sorry about the lighting here guys these are low quality leds evidently um that's what causes the flickering 
on the camera, but I'm I'm liking that. I mean, sometimes it's the really small stuff. It's big old house that has a lot of issues, but small things like this, where you can rejuvenate and reclaim a space in this house, um, is really nice. You can also tell on this wall, hopefully, where that section is really white and clean, and that one is not. So I want to do a quick before and after of that, and uh, then we try to tackle the rest of this closet and get it where I can use it for storage for some of the old bird farm products. All right, here's another comparison shot. Half the door. There you can see that real white section at the end isn't any more clean than that is. But the doors are kind of like this, they're the original paint. Or I don't know how original it is, but the old paint is kind of a cream color, or ivory color. Whereas this was painted white when these shelves were put in here. White like the shelves I still need to do under the door, but you can see right there. Then again, Another big change right here, if you look up in the top of this door, and then if you follow this down, you can see where I stopped cleaning and the, uh, the color difference there. It's amazing. So we're going to keep going down with these shelves and, uh, and all of this. Okay, so I have this on hyper view, so it's going to have real fish eye effect on the camera here, but this is so I can get a nice big wide shot of this closet for y'all real quick. And there we are, we're back to regular. So as you can see, this thing is cleaned up really nicely. Um, every bit of this has been touched and sanitized. You can see how much better the walls look there, how much better the door frame looks, and of course, how much better these shelves look you know I still need to do the other side of the door frames and the closet and the other side of the closet but this is exactly what I needed here um, because I do so much shipping out of here these days um, I've got you know I can put my packing material because we save and recycle packing material I've got my antique USPS priority mailboxes I know some of y'all have recognized those if you've got candles or anything even just for the heck of it put the uh the hippie purse in here that i did actually list on ebay and i've got my little candle box here so we can make sure the candles stay dust free before they get shipped out see there we go got the old bird farm candles in here now you can keep them nice and dust free until they get shipped out these are the ones i've just listed on ebay our wisteria scented candles even some old bird farm product that hasn't quite made it out yet is our lavender salve so that'll be coming soon but there we go i'm happy with this i guess this is one of those things that people you know describe as satisfying um for me this is just a uh, a big win for the old bird farmhouse be able to utilize even more space i already 
basically treat this house as my office I have for a very long time. Of course, we have the showroom over here that I've used before, which is an absolute disaster right now. I have boxes in here. I've got trash bags from this closet that need to go out. We got Annie Dog taking a nap on the couch there. Say hey, Annie. So, you know, more than just the um, structural aspects that we need to do on the old bird farmhouse, you know, replacing floors and everything, just, you know, like I say, using this space as, an, as a kind of office, you know, as I do ship stuff out of here. And I'm here a lot, you know. Um, I spend a lot of time out here, so keeping the inside of the house nice, clean, and comfortable is of utmost importance. So just having small wins like cleaning out this closet, you know, that, that's absolutely great. Can't wait to tackle these doors around here. Gonna keep on doing that. And uh, that, like that door over there, the rest of these walls. And just stuff that we can do, um, you know, that's while, while I'm saving up money to do stuff like replace floors and stuff like that. We can keep the progress out here going, even in small ways, by just making a previously unusable, you know, disgusting space into storage like it should be and as I've needed. So this is good. It'll help me keep everything in order here at the Old Bird Farmhouse. As you saw, you know, I used some, some intense cleaner on this, so all of these are sanitized and clean. The only thing on there now is just missing paint in the wood. So, you know, absolutely phenomenal. So that's gonna do it, guys. Probably a kind of short video. I, like I said, it's after dark now. Today was a very busy day out here on the Old Bird Farm. Um, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to do this, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, my content on the channel is gonna be a variety of different stuff, of course, when it comes to working on the house whether it be like cleaning out a closet or, you know, doing structural repairs to the house, we're always still moving forward in uh, looking at repairing the house. So I'll be back soon, uh, probably back inside the house doing some more cleanup, making this place really shine again. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the like button, share, subscribe. Thank you all for your support and uh, helping me continue the restoration of the old bird farm and helping it grow into something new. If you look back at the beginning videos, I never would imagine that I'd have the old bird farm wisteria candle line, you know, or even be able to bring the farm back as we have done in such a huge way this year between the garden that went to, that produced a lot of produce that went to local restaurants, to the old bird farm uh, candle line, the, the other, like the salves, that sort of thing. It absolutely amazes me. And uh, even being able to save the rising sun and bringing a historic artifact here, um, someone commented that uh, Old Bird Farm will be a, like kind of like a tourist attraction if I keep bringing stuff like that in here. And that's kind of the goal, you know, to make this, uh, to restore this place, to preserve this house, to restore this house, to, res to restore the farm and the farmland, but also the preservation of, you know, the, the forgotten things and things like I film on adventures into history my other channel um, just preservation all the way around so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like share subscribe i will see you next time